So everybody's always looking for that new fountain of youth, the next best thing for their skincare. We're gonna talk about one of those today. And we're gonna talk about senescence. You may have heard about it, uh, zombie cells. But we're gonna talk about what it is, how to treat it, how it applies to your skincare and what's coming up with it. Again, I mean, in these types of conversations, these are things you may want to talk about with your dermatologist or your skincare expert before you just go out and buy a bunch of skincare products. They do work and there's a lot of great potential and medicines that work on senescence. And we're gonna do a deep dive into it now. So what senescence is, senescence are cells, so-called zombie cells that have ceased truly functioning well, but the body has not cleared them. And while they're in senescence, among other things, they will cause inflammation and they will secrete an inflammatory chemical called ASASP. What that will do is again, that leads to inflammation, at least oxidative stress, and it causes damage to the mitochondria, ultimately leading to mitochondrial dysfunction. If your mitochondria is not working the right way, then that will lead to decreased energy production in the cells. That will again lead to inflammation, more oxidative stress leads to more damage to your skin, more potential DNA damage, more redness in the skin, and it goes on and on. So this is the problem that we do want to work on relative to skincare, because it's so important and it's something that's so evident, it's something you cannot hide unless you wanna use some of these medicines and supplements that we're gonna talk about now. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about regarding getting rid of senescence in skincare is a proprietary product called OneSkin. OneSkin is a specific peptide only made by that one company and it has been shown to decrease senescence in skin cells by helping to clear it and leading to decreased inflammation in your skin, leading to decreased redness and potentially boosting collagen production. So it is a sole product. It could be used with other skincare products that you may have, but it is something that you definitely want to look into, be aware of, because it does work. It does help to improve senescence. The second group of products that we look into in decreasing sen uh, senescent cells are things like quercetin and fisetin, which are now going either you can take orally or you can now take them as part a polyphenols in your skincare products. A lot of the newer skincare products are having some version of quercetin or fissinin in the product. Something you definitely want to look into. A lot of different products that have them. I think companies like Olaplex, uh, Young Goose, who I love, Young Goose Skincare, do have versions of these in their skincare lines. Other products that you can definitely look into that will help um, are called Rapalogs. Rapalogs are medicines that are similar to rapamycin, which you probably, if you're into the anti-aging realm, heard a lot about. They are very helpful. They decrease inflammation. They will help induce autophagy, which helps the cell break down. In this case, Rapalogs, some medicine similar to rapamycin, will help get rid of senescent cells. There is a specific rapamycin cream, which is the strongest out there. It is experimental right now. There are companies that are gonna start putting it out very soon. It is something you don't wanna break a rapamycin tablet that you may get and put it in a skin cream, but it's something that if you can do a backslice to limus cream, understand that it is still not in the fully FDA approved phase yet, something you definitely would wanna look into. There are other companies, again, Young Goose, some of the other companies I mentioned before, do have products that have medicine similar to rapamycin, that are used to help get rid of senescence, decrease inflammation, and deal with all the other complaints I dealt with, I mentioned before. Other products that are out there, there's a specific product from a company called MitoPure, or Timeline Nutrition, that has your lysin A. I mentioned before, when the senescence cell secretes its AS, A, SASP, as well as other chemicals, it will cause damage to the mitochondria. So again, these different products, the Rapalogs, the One Skin, the MitoPure, all can be used in conjunction with your other skincare products. You do wanna discuss the different combinations with your treating physician, your skincare specialist. There are other products out there as well. Now they're being used to help boost the skincare deal with senescent cells in skincare. Spermidine, two companies I recommend are Primadine or Longevity Labs. You, some people will take the capsule or the powder, they'll mix it in with their cream because spermidine has been shown to decrease inflammation, induces autophagy, and it may help with skin clearing senescent cells. So there's a lot of really good things to help your skin. Other products that may help, besides I mentioned, we mentioned quercetin, we mentioned fisetin, another product that you may wanna look into, NAD, because of its body's ability to work on the mitochondria and help with the whole process and game clearing senescent cells. NAD in your skin cream can also be helpful. Again, you can take from different baskets from A and B and C to help improve your skincare. These are gonna help decrease inflammation, decrease the redness in your skin, 
they may help to boost collagen production, make your skin look fuller. Definitely if you like this or any of the other videos we have online, please subscribe to the channel. We're gonna have more skincare issues, skincare items and videos coming up. Please put in the comment section what you would like to hear about. Talk to you guys soon.